hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to discuss about one of the key concept in java that is nothing but converting java object to json string and vice versa so how we can achieve this particular operation so there is a famous java library called jackson okay jackson is a java library so what is the purpose of this java library I mean to say this Jackson so this is used for processing JSON okay used for processing the JSON okay so it has a data binding functionality okay it has a data binding functionality which is used to convert a Java object to JSON and a JSON string to Java object okay so let's get back into the practical implementation of it we can discuss more theoretically while developing this one okay so I'm going to create a new Maven project next okay so the title is going to be java jackson library demo finish so in order to avail the data bending functionality you need to have a dependency of jackson so that is nothing but this particular one so you can see here the group ID is com.fosterxml.jackson.core and the artifact ID the project is nothing but Java data band and this is the version which I am using okay. so let's rebuild the maven great so now first we are going to see this operation that is nothing but convert Java object to JSON and then we can see converting JSON string to Java so I am going to have a, a new package called com.shivaprasad I am going to have a class called student ok so we can have a different fields here I am going to have private int student id private string student name private string student address so I am going to have a parameterized constructor parameterized construct followed by I am going to have a default constructor so this default constructor we require in order to do the deserialization operation okay and by the way uh, let me tell you what is the serialization and deserialization in terms of this particular demo so serialization is nothing but converting java object to json string okay so deserial serialization is nothing but converting json string to java object okay so in order to perform this particular operation so we need to have this default constructor otherwise we end up having an exception okay uh, let's have a getters and setters for these three fields uh, great so okay so I'm going to have a main class for convert Java to JSON string 
okay I'm going to have a main method so what else we need we need to have a object of student right so let's create an object student student equal to new student and we have a parameterized construct constructor so we can happily pass it uh, we can happily use it I mean so the ID is going to be 101 and you can take anything which needs to be an integer so the address is going to be India okay so at this point of time so I have a an object right of student so what is my next goal now I need to convert this particular student object to a JSON string right so how we can uh, achieve that one so in order to achieve that one we have a class called object mapper from this Jackson data bind package okay so this particular object mapper okay is generally used for serialization and deserialization of java object and json string okay so basically like it has a different methods so which we can use to convert json object sorry java object to json string and json string to java object okay so let me create an object of this particular class okay great so <clears throat> now I have an object of student and I have an object of this mapper so then I am just one step ahead to perform the actual operation so now I need to convert this particular object to JSON string right so the output is going to be string uh, JSON string so object mapper dot we have write value as string you can see this particular method okay which which generally taking an object okay so we can pass the student to this particular and this write value as a string okay generally throws a json processing exception okay and we need to handle that particular thing so how you can handle that one just surround it with the try and catch or else you can have the throws method at the method signature okay uh okay string json string is equal to okay uh, let's display that one to see whether it's working fine or it's not okay student my bad okay so if it has any issues then it is going to be catch and we can see that in the trace let me run this one great you can see here so I had an object of a student and which I created in this way and it converted that particular into the json and it returned me a json string okay so we are done with first operation okay so now we are going to see this particular operation nothing but converting i mean deserializing a json string to java object okay let me have a separate class for that convert json to java object let me have a main method so first we need a string right so if we have a string uh, which is in the form of json then we can convert that to the uh, java object right so i have something in my hand at this point of time so this is like this so you can see this particular string uh, it consists of student id followed by student name followed by student address okay so for sake of the differentiation let me take different id different name and different address okay so as usual we need to have a object of this object mapper class 
object mapper is equals to new object mapper okay now we have a string with our uh, we have a json string in our hand and we have an object mapper then we are one step ahead to perform the actual operation so uh, object mapper dot this time we are going to have a read value method okay so generally this read value method is uh, sorry we have different kinds of read value uh, these are the method overloaded things so you can have uh, we can have something like this so the first parameter is going to be input the string which we created and second is going to be the object to which we are going to convert okay so this one is going to return this student object so as usual i need to have it something like this student is equals to student great so this read value also throws a json uh, mapping exception and json processing exception so you need to bind it with uh, you need to surround it with try and catch okay so let's see whether we got a correct output or else not so Mm, student id is nothing but student dot get student id and we are going to have student name student dot get student name and we are going to have student address student dot get address okay so we are done with this operation so let's see great you can see it returned me student id followed by student name followed by student address okay so one more point i would like to highlight okay sometimes uh, we people may not have the exact json attributes okay so what do you mean by that so let's take i have something like this uh, something student id okay assume something i have like this so in the student class okay we can leverage one annotation called json property okay basically json property of what student underscore id okay whatever we have here so now let's run the same thing let me build it so now let me run it and you can see here still i got the output okay so this particular json attribute help us to tell that okay from my input json so this student id is nothing but the student id okay it's a just a kind of mapping and we are telling java that uh, you can see this one and you can assume like this one okay uh, I hope you learned something new today. So I will back with another video on same concept where we can see the advanced features of this. Have a great day. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe, like and share.